from Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States of America, entered Dealey Plaza, Dallas, Texas at 12.30 p.m. on November 22, 1963. Jacqueline Kennedy was beside him, along with Texas Governor John Connolly and his wife as well. They joined each other on a 10-mile parade through the streets of Dallas. Nellie Connolly, the First Lady of Texas, turned around to the President who was sitting behind her in an open-top convertible and commented, Mr. President, you can't say Dallas doesn't love you, which President Kennedy replied back to her, no, you certainly can't. Those were the last words ever spoken by him. The Kennedys and Connollys waved at the large crowds lining the parade route. As the car passed the Texas School Book Depository at 12.30 p.m., three shots were fired, seriously injuring Governor Connolly but fatally wounding President Kennedy. JFK was pronounced to have died 30 minutes later at Dallas Parkland Hospital. He was 46 years old at the time. The death of the president shocked the world. Many controversial conspiracies were discovered regarding his death. However, there are a few prominent theories. Conspiracy number one was that JFK was assassinated by a man called Lee Harvey Oswald. On the day of the shooting, Oswald was the prime suspect. He was thought to be the one who assassinated JFK and was arrested 70 minutes after the shooting. So is this the man you believe killed President Kennedy? I think we have the right man. He was charged under Dallas state law with the murder of John F. Kennedy. However, two days later, Lee Harvey Oswald was murdered by a man named Jack Ruby. This murder occurred in police headquarters, captured on live film and with many witnesses present too. Ruby was then arrested for Oswald's murder. This line of events pulled up many questions. Why did Ruby act alone? Why would he do it on film, in public and in police headquarters? Did secret services visit Ruby? Did he talk? Why did he kill Oswald? This leads to conspiracy number two, a cover-up by the police, government and or CIA. A poll from 1966 to 2004 says that 80% of Americans still suspect a cover-up or that there was a second gunman involved. However, an earlier report in 1964 concluded that Oswald acted alone in killing JFK. The shots were supposedly fired from the sixth floor window at the southeast corner of the Texas School Book Depository by Oswald, but there is no evidence that either Oswald nor Jack Ruby were part of any planning, domestic in America or foreign and overseas. A warrant for the United States Committee on Assassinations stated that Kennedy was probably killed as a result of a conspiracy. The fact that nobody kept written records of Oswald's interview alerts suspicion and leaves much unknown. Every policeman involved violated standard procedures on interviewing detainees. In the 1960s, notes were always kept, but for some reason these records have gone missing or never been made. This was an assassination of John F. Kennedy, President of the United States of America. And some protocols were not followed. Another conspiracy is that the shots came from a different direction. Jefferson Morley, a former Washington Post reporter who has written several books on the event, says, I've never written about conspiracy theories. I report facts about the assassination. Look at the Zapruder film. Kennedy's head goes flying backwards. I know there's a theory that if you get hit by a bullet from behind, the head goes towards the source of the bullet. But as a common sense explanation, it seems very unlikely. That sure looks like a shot from the front. Once again, this statement contradicts with other theories. Finally, in 2017, the government released 2,800 previously classified files which were related to the assassination. This release is, is unusual and exciting because there's so much material, more than 100,000 pages of material probably, and it's really unprecedented in release of government documents to have such a large body of secret material that has been secret for so long come into the public record. 
According to these, the FBI in Dallas were apparently trying to track down Oswald in the days leading up to the assassination. The files also concluded that the FBI warned the Dallas police of a threat to kill Oswald, according to the memo done by J. Edgar Hoover. Yet the police failed to protect him. These files also say that it was a surprise that Ruby killed Oswald rather than simply wounding him in the leg for publicity. JFK's killer and how he got assassinated is still debated and is a widespread conspiracy. This left a huge gap in history for people to fill. JFK's decisions as president may have been the reason for his death. Working alongside Lyndon Johnson, the vice president, he served in the Democratic Party. He was a young president that wanted huge changes for the USA. He was elected when he was 43 years old, which made him the second youngest president. JFK was a president that people varied opinions about due to his declarations to the US and what he did in his short era. He is remembered as the hero of the Cuban Missile Crisis, resisting the advice of many security officials to destroy the Soviet Union nuclear launches with military force, but others disagree. According to Dylan Matthews from the Washington Post, historians disagree on what exactly led to October 1962 crisis that almost ended in a nuclear exchange. But basically every interpretation suggests that had the eastern seaboard been wiped out that month, it would have been the result of Kennedy's frecklessness. End quote. It seems that JFK was withdrawing from the Vietnam War, and a theory goes that too many corporations had begun to depend on the war's economy. These corporations would have suffered huge losses if JFK continued on this road and withdrew from the war. So maybe these were the reasons he was assassinated or disliked. Other reasons may be the ones that follow. He made the bald eagle the emblem of America. He created life insurance companies helped the UNICEF, and had interactions with World War I overseas flyers. JFK also appointed to the Kennedy administration, African Americans. Some of these reasons may be why he was assassinated. Having African Americans as government officials may have upset people. Maybe the Soviets were after him. Companies, or even the government itself, killed JFK as he was supposedly retreating from the wars. JFK was a president that was liked and hated by people just as every president of the USA was and is. So why is he one of the few that were assassinated? Kennedy was also a very popular president in the US and all around the world. His legacy still leads on to this day. Ranking highly in public surveys and polls, Kennedy purely wanted to work and fight for and believed in a better world for the future. After Kennedy died, Lyndon Johnson, the vice president when Kennedy was alive, became president for roughly one year. Johnson put many of Kennedy's ideas into law. The Great Society was a set of programs put in place by the President Lyndon Johnson at the time. Kennedy's daughter, Caroline, also mentions in a CNN interview marking what would have been JFK's 100th birthday. His brothers carried on that work, fighting against poverty, violence and war, championing human rights, health care and immigration. As my father said in his inaugural address, this work will not be finished in our lifetime. It is up to us to continue to pass these values on to our children and grandchildren. On November 22, 1963, while being driven through the streets of Dallas, Texas, in his open car, President John Fitzgerald Kennedy was shot dead. The world had not only lost a common man, but a leader of men. From his heroic actions in World War II to his entire presidency, making the decisions to avert nuclear conflict with world powers, greatness can be seen. JFK was a civil rights activist. Because of this, was well known he had made enemies with many Southerners in that time period. Despite these enemies, JFK had made clear he wanted to campaign in Florida and Texas, as he knew that not winning those states could flip the tables on him. The assassination of JFK affected the lives of many and forever impacted history. His assassination is blanketed in mystery, and to this day, no one knows exactly what happened. He was the youngest elected president and the youngest president to die. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored appreciate very much your commemorating generous invitation to be here tonight. Anniversary of the death of Camel Ataturk. You bear heavy responsibilities the of these days. Brings to mind 
And uh, you the article I read I believe that this nation should some time ago of this to achieving the goal of how particularly before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth.